Hi everyone, today I'm going to highlight features of new SPB Weather 2.0. We've totally redesigned the UI in new version, so the best weather app got even better and more user friendly. There are more than 10,000 different cities in SPB Weather database and it's constantly updated based on requests from our users. Let me add Los Angeles to my cities list. As you see, it's immediately updated over your active internet connection. Move to a different city by simply swiping your finger. With Dayview providing detailed information about your city, you will stay up to date with current weather conditions. Now, it's time to show you something you've never seen before in a weather application. It's a globe showing all cities you've added to your list. But it wouldn't be a weather forecast app without three layers you're about to see. Now let's enable them. SkyLayer shows real-time cloud cover of the world. You can currently observe that Los Angeles sky is clear, unlike New York's. Let's switch to another layer. It's a temperature layer, which shows real-time near-surface air temperature around the world. I can see that New York City is chilly these days. Let's move ahead. The last one is precipitation layer. It shows the amount of precipitation that has accumulated in a certain region. After zooming in, I see that it could rain in New York, while LA is most likely to be dry today. SPP Weather 2 get the latest weather forecasts to your pocket.